So question 7 pula minta a magnetic flux pass through a 12 turn coil of wire changes from 4 Weber okay Weber uh, changes to 4 Weber oh 4 Weber from 10 Weber so this is the initial this is the final lah okay within 0 0.05 seconds okay the average induced EMF in a current in a coil is 20 amps so what is the resistance of the wire so korang kena guna EMF sama dengan I R so soalan ni minta resistance pula berapa current dia bagi EMF kita kena cari so remember ini sebenarnya kita tak guna pun yang rotating coil circular coil ataupun uh, what we call straight conductor sebenarnya kita guna Faraday law je which is EMF sama dengan D flux over D D kerana apa Ini adalah flux. Okay, this is flux. Okay, dan juga sebab dia ada n turns. Okay, number of turns 12. So, kita bubuh n kat sini lah. Okay, so berapa? 12. D flux over dt dia adalah final kita di sini adalah 10 tolak 4 over kita punya time sama dengan 0.05 second. Okay, so from here uh, kita boleh dapat value berapa? Sekejap. Uh, 12 tolak uh, sekejap. 12, 10 tolak 4 Kau actually 0.05 So, sini you boleh dapat actually Wow, tinggi gila kita punya V 1440 Oh, gila lah Okay, then mengguna Then you can equate kita punya EMF equal to IR So, 1440 equal to 20R So, R kita sama dengan 72 ohms. Okay, so that's for question number 7 Okay, so hopefully you learn um, how we calculate the EMF here lah for question number 3B up until question number 7. For question number 8 and question number 9, it's just simple explanation but uh, I'll, um, tak pernah kita start terus lah. Okay, ala-ala menyeluk perkasam tu. Okay, so this is the DIY answer. You can read it first atau salin. I'll just uh, baca soalan lah. Okay. Referring to 5.2 above, the bar magnet is moved at a constant velocity towards and away from a fixed solenoid. Using Lenz law, state the direction of the induced current as the bar magnet moves towards the solenoid and moves away from the solenoid. Okay, so uh, you can read about the 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 uh, DIY answer here, but just nak terangkan konsep dia. So <coughs> bila bar magnet kita dekat dengan kita punya coil ataupun loop. Okay, maksudnya apa? B sini akan meningkat. Okay, sebab kita punya coil akan bergerak from north pergi balik south. Macam ni lah. Okay, macam itu and macam itu. Okay, so bila kita ada magnet kita yang dekat dengan coil atau loop, magnetic field dekat coil atau loop akan meningkat. Mengikut kita punya Faraday law, Faraday mengatakan negatif di di flux over dt. Negatif ni adalah daripada lens. Lens kata, okay, lens kata apa? The direction of induced EMF will oppose the change that uh, that produces it. Okay, so berdasarkan ayat kat sini lah. Okay, start kat sini. When north pole of the bar magnet is taken near to the coil, the EMF induced in the coil in the coil and hence current flow to it in such a way that the direction of Y uh, coil attains north polarity which restricts the movement of the bar magnet. Maksudnya apa? Kan bila magnet ni put dekat Dia punya magnetic field of the coil akan meningkat So, coil ni tak suka peningkatan ni Untuk tak suka peningkatan ni It will try to reduce Okay, reduce this increase in magnetic field For it to reduce, ini kena jadi north Ini kena jadi south Untuk case di mana magnet datang dekat Okay, so it will try to reduce this magnetic field So, bila you ada north dengan south Barulah you boleh tahu direction current which is Ke sini lah, ke sini, ke sini using our right hand rule, second version. Okay, north south, you curlkan tangan you. Okay, situ. So, sini, sini and situ lah. Okay, so this is for the first case. Bila bar magnet kita dekat, dia tak suka peningkatan in this magnetic field. So, kita punya Y akan jadi north, kita punya X akan jadi south to repel this incoming magnetic field. Okay, so from here, therefore, governor reading at this moment will deflect towards the right. So, kat sini, current gerak daripada sini ke sini. So, for the first case, dia akan deflect ke situ lah. Okay, current is moving in anti-clockwise direction. So, as you can see lah, kita punya current gerak macam itu. Okay, anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so that's for the first case. Okay, saya nak padam sekejap. 
Padam, 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 padam. Okay, so for the second case pula, second case sekarang ni, kita ada bar magnet yang gerak jauh. Bila bar magnet kita gerak jauh, okay, magnetic field dalam loop atau coil ni B akan berkurang. Kenapa berkurang, sir? Sebab sekarang ni kan kita punya magnetic field keluar masuk sini kan? Okay, situ, okay, and situ. So, bila kita bawa magnet kita keluar daripada coil atau loop, magnetic field di dalam coil atau loop ni akan berkurang sebab magnet sekarang ni jauh. Bila magnet ni dah jauh, magnetic field ni kurang, di dalam coil atau loop ni tak suka perubahan tersebut, okay? Tak suka perubahan tersebut. Dia nak, sebab magnetic field dia kurang, dia akan cuba untuk meningkatkan magnetic field tu balik. So, when it wants to increase the magnetic field back, okay, bila dia nak increasekan balik, sini akan jadi north, sini akan jadi south, sini akan jadi north. Okay, kenapa dia jadi south atau north? Sebab dia nak attract balik the magnetic field. Okay, so for it to attract back the magnetic field, okay, this must become south, this become north, so it can attract back the magnetic field. Okay, so bila kita tahu ni north, ni south, barulah kita boleh guna the right hand rule second version. Okay, berdasarkan ni you can see, dia punya apa current menaik. Okay, ni naik, 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 so ini berturun, bernaik situ. Okay, so berdasarkan explanation dia, well, so when the north pole of the bar magnet is taken away, <coughs> sekarang ni kita magnet kita jauh, okay, the direction of induced EMF in the coil is reversed and the y side of the coil will attain south polarity, which again restricts the movement of the coil. Therefore, the galvanometing reading at this moment will deflect towards the left. So, north-south, kita punya current pun uh, direction dia daripada sini ke sini, so kita akan direction macam ni lah. Okay. So actually it will be in a clockwise direction Nampak tak? Kita punya current gerak situ. Yang penting di dalam ni For you to know the current punya direction okay, You must know the polarity okay, Polarity in your coil or loop okay. Untuk kita tahu direction current ni Untuk menggunakan the right hand rule second version Korang wajib tahu polarity coil korang berapa Okay, kalau north south barulah korang boleh buat korang punya thumb You punya thumb dekat north You punya belakang thumb adalah dekat south And you punya fingers will curl upwards lah Okay, but you need to use the right hand rule Second version for this question lah Okay, right So that's for question number 8 Untuk question number 9 This is the DIY answer Kita akan tengok kenapa Okay, so Which magnetic poles, north or south, is produced at X when the magnetic goes into the top of the coil? So, this is X. Bila magnet kita masuk, macam saya katalah, okay, you have magnetic field here. Situ, kan? Bila magnetic kita is drop dekat X, uh, magnetic field yang masuk kat X makin meningkat. Dia tak nak peningkatan ni, so dia akan jadi sini north, sini south, okay? To repel the incoming magnetic field. So, X ni akan jadi North Pole by Lenz Law induced current must oppose the direction which cause it so it must repel the magnet. Tapi bila magnet kita sekarang ni, okay pen biru pula, magnet kita sekarang ni dekat sini, okay dekat situ, so this is South sini North, sekarang ni magnet kita gerak belah bawah, kita jatuhkan dekat Y, magnetic field di sini akan berkurang. Kenapa berkurang sir? Sebab sekarang ni kita punya magnet dah jauh. Bila magnet kita jauh, kita kena cuba increase back the magnet, so sini pula, akan jadi akan jadi north sini akan jadi south to attract back the magnet so uh, for question b okay which magnet north or south is produced at y sebenarnya akan jadi north pole kenapa dia nak attract back the magnet yang move away right so hopefully explanation ni membantu um, i'll see you guys again di dalam kita punya 5.3 self induction okay